Hello and welcome to the video review for Transformers Dark of the Moon Top Spin. Um, you may already know he is one of the wreckers in the film. Uh, so it's basically one of the tech tile cars with all the um, different weapons on it. And uh, you can see here he has his mech tech weapon on the front. Which is sort of like a crossbow thing. And you pull it pull back this part here and it has a claw. Uh, but a very nice looking vehicle mode. And you can see we've got guns on the sides and the top. And on this side here. And they're all uh, just pegs and holes that can be removed. I wasn't really sure how I was going to react to the painting on this figure. Uh, for example, here at the front of the car you can see that none of the uh, headlights are actually filled in. But, um, there is still quite a bit of paint on him as you can see with the, uh, the whole Lowell's logo and then the silver panel here breaking up the front. So the paint is broken up well and distributed well, even if some of the details are missing. Um, so for transformation, we're going to start by trying to come around the back here and pop off his legs. There we go. Like that. You bring him down. Then you uh, take this front part here. And we're going to lift it up and pull it back like that. Go a bit higher up and then fold in the front piece here. And you want to bring down the legs. And snap the piece and the crotch here together. Like so. It doesn't really click or anything, it just sort of fixes together. And then you can fold down this part of the leg over the front. Then pull out his foot. And rotate this part out. Do the same on the other side. And make sure his legs extend properly at the knee. And you want to rotate this whole sort of, uh, section here. So my hair is the legs. And just adjust the camera a bit. Want to get him in the shot. And then you can pull down his arms off to the side and you can see his head in there and twist this on the shoulder here so that, that yellow piece is at the front next you want to separate the back part which is actually quite stiff on mine uh, there we go. and then you pull that part around to the side and the same on this side. Then you can uh, come around the back and take this whole roof section and push it down a bit. Um, then these bits fold up so you have the rear spoiler coming up from the front and these weird gun things at the top. And then you pull his head forward. And make sure that the arms are stretched all the way out. And there he is in robot mode. Just gotta just stand up here. There you go. Um, a very sort of skinny looking wrecker. But, you know, a very tall one actually for the Lux. Uh, in comparison with um, the Voyagers, this is a very tall deluxe figure that we've got. Focus his camera a bit better. Hmm. 
Oh. Um, as you can see, on his arms he does have claws, and they will open up, and close, and there's no spring or anything, and they're not actually his hands, uh, as you can see in here, he does have a little fist, and that's what his hands are, but he does have the claws as well. Um, all of his guns that were on the car, you can see are up here, so you flip them around. Make sure they're facing the right way. Oops. That ball joint's pretty loose, you want to try and keep bits on there. Well. And then uh, this backpack here can actually be placed pretty much anywhere you want. You can have it coming down. Uh, you can lift it up and have it going forwards like that. You can pull it out to the side so that all the guns are pointing forwards. Or you can have them lifted up like that, you can bring it down a bit like, closer to his body. It's really a, a matter of choice on how you display his backpack in this mode. Uh, his mech tech weapon does attach in robot mode. As you can see, he has a mech tech port on his forearm. You just press that in. He has one on the other forearm as well. And obviously the um the pegs up here you could spot that for his crossbow thing if you wanted. And then you can obviously extend the claw here. But as it's a deluxe that's not gonna hold out. Um he does have very minor light piping, which I'll just show you now. So if you hold him up to the light, you can see his eyes are going, uh, glowing blue in there, which is quite a nice feature. Uh, for size comparison purposes, um, here he is, standing next to the Dark of the Moon Optimus Prime. So you can see he's quite a tall figure in total, and you can um, obviously extend the jetpack. Uh, his main body isn't that tall, but with the added backpack thing, it's quite a tall um, deluxe figure to have. Um, things that are good about this figure, uh, I'd probably say the, the use of this sort of gold here and the yellow to break up the colour, break up that solid blue. Uh, makes it look really nice, and also the way he's got like robot bits, and he's really tacked out with all these guns. It's a really nice feature because, um, well, it's true to the movie. You know, it's a, this figure is very, um, very movie accurate. So if you want to get a movie accurate wrecker, this is probably uh, of those available so far. This is the most movie accurate. So thanks for watching this quick review, and goodbye.